Hey, this is Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about torque. And torque is one of the most difficult movements in braces or in, you know, orthodontics that a lot of times patients don't understand. And I get a lot of inquiries on our patient facing website about, you know, what's my doctor doing now? And, you know, how come these just don't look right? And this is just a great example of a case that I wanted to show you where clearly something doesn't look like. Right, right. So the bite is almost fully corrected, not fully. Of course, they're still not quite overjet, but you can see that those front teeth are really just dumped back. So most likely this patient had a lot of spaces on top. Um, I probably just pulled them back really fast on a lighter wire, which is why the torque or the full prescription of the bracket did not express on the teeth and they look like they're just dumped in. So. In time, if this doctor moves his way up the wires, which doesn't look like they're on a heavier wire yet, but and moves his way up, the teeth will correct and the bite should correct. They might need some rubber bands. But in any case, that is pretty much what's going on here with this case. So, you know, you that's one of the slowest movements in orthodontics is torque. It takes a while and you have to work your way up the sequence of wires. So you have to have patience. And it's why I don't recommend that kind of quick fix orthodontic treatment with the braces where things move really fast. Because what's going to happen is A, it's not going to look that great. And B, it's not going to be stable. Which is why really braces that only take a few months are really not a good long-term solution for a variety of reasons. And we can go into that later. But in any case, yes, this patient should also brush their teeth better. But hopefully that helps teach you a little bit about what torque is. And I